Hey guys, welcome back to the More Medic One. Uh, today I'm in my uh, regular pickup with the trailer. We're going to come out to one of my facilities and pick up a uh, an old International Harvester trailer. I've never seen one like this before, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and get it picked up, and it'll give me a chance to unwind the. Uh, wire rope or the the cable on my winch so I want to get it wound back up correctly I did a little Google search at lunch and uh, that trailer actually pulls up on some forums it is a bona fide international harvester uh, it's a model 1200 but it's uh, designed to haul a cub cadet <clears throat> riding lawnmower it's a tilt bed or supposed to be a tilt bed but uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Old piece of equipment, still around after all these years, just sitting out in the pasture. I better be careful out here. It's a little bit mushy. Sure, don't want to get stuck. You know, I've noticed this trailer out here before. This is the first time that they've ever asked to do anything with this. It's just a little old flatbed trailer. I'm sure the woods are rotting. Seems like it's all right, but it's got International Harvester IH. I don't know if it's just a, somebody put that on there or this is actually something produced by International Harvester. Comment below if you've ever seen a trailer like this. So let's go ahead and get it loaded and uh, I'm going to get my, like I said, I'm going to get my winch cable wound back up correctly some of y'all may have seen my video about the the winch setup i've got on my my work trailer here so i was winding something the other day and i'm kind of particular about my winch cable i like it to you know follow its own you know kind of like a fishing reel but uh when it gets all embedded down in there it makes it hard to pull out and it'll ruin the cable so I'm just going to unwind it all the way Let's see if I can possibly just hook it here somehow maybe I don't think that'll stay but we'll get it on there and we'll get this trailer sucked up on my trailer and see what kind of tires and wheels it has of course the trailer tongue connector or hitch will have to be replaced to you know standards I don't even see the guts to that one are gone but let's go ahead and start pulling See what it does. Hopefully, it doesn't hang on my tailgate. Just a little. Let's go over here and almost made it. <laughs> you can see it bumping up that expanded metal. Well, maybe that did it right there. Let's try it. Should have had, should have brought somebody with me. pretty good winch for a hundred bucks I'm 
gonna let this tongue come right up underneath of this trailer right here. I should. I'm just gonna leave it right there, and then I'm gonna put a strap across it. Yeah, this is just a 480 by 8 trailer tire. If I have enough room which I think I should, it might not, but I was gonna just put golf cart wheels on here. The load range on those tires there will be more, but I'll, uh, I think I'll just order 480 by eight uh, trailer tires and put back on it. They said they're fixing to start using this thing heavy, so I'm gonna go ahead and put new tires on it. Well, let's get her back to the shop. We'll throw some tires on it and to uh, repair the, the hitch. We'll have to end up cutting this one off because this one's welded on. And the new one that I put on is going to be bolted on. So, catch you in the next video if you have any questions about, oh, I don't know, you know, worn winches. And uh, just being careful about loading stuff, let me know. More Medic 1. Y'all have a good day.